Well, that setting of praise to the Lord the Almighty it was perhaps a little bit different than what you're used to. Um, nonetheless, the tune was very recognisable and I hope that you were blessed through the singing of it as God was praised. We're going to think about God's word together now. Uh, we're going to hear that word um, from the Old Testament, Psalm 100. And we're going to read this in a responsive way as it's become our practice to do. The reading from Psalm 100, this is God's word. I'm going to read the words in black and then we will all read together the words in red. Shout for joy to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us. We are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Amen. May God bless to us this reading of his word. Let's join together in prayer. Let's all pray. Lord, it is our joy to come together today. Though we are apart, we are united in Christ Jesus, your Son, and we are one in him. Lord, we come to you today to add our voices to the praise of all creation. We come, O oh God, to worship you today with gladness in our hearts, praise on our lips, and joy filling our lives. We come before you with joyful songs, but we come also to listen to you, Lord, to hear what you will say to us. So we pray, O oh God, that again we might have the help of the Holy Spirit in this time of praise and worship, that as we sing our praise, as we listen to your word read, as we reflect upon it together, that we might also hear your voice speaking to us. Lord, speak, we pray, through your Holy Spirit who dwells within. Lord, we know that you are God and worthy of all our praise. You have created the heavens and the earth. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You are perfect in all your ways, complete in all your attributes. And Lord, there is no shadow of turning with you. We can come to you today and find that you are the same as you have always been. Lord, we recognise that we are your people. Forgive us that often we fail you, that often we let you down, that often, O oh God, we do not live as we ought to live as your people. Indeed, Lord, we have sinned even today, even in these last few hours. We have given in to sin, given in to temptation. We have fallen at the first hurdle. Lord, you know our sin, and we are aware of that sin also. Father, today, even now, in the quietness of these next few moments, we confess our sin before you. Lord, enable us today to enter your courts with thanksgiving and praise. Enable us, Lord, from our hearts and the depth of our hearts to give our praise and our worship to you. And Lord, to give thanks to you for all that you've done. Lord, our sins are forgiven in Jesus Christ. And as we confess our sin, we, we believe the word of Scripture that you are faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Lord, we recognise that this is not because of our goodness, but out of your goodness and your love, because you are a God of love, you forgive us. Because you are a God of grace, you treat us as your own. And you have made it possible for us to know you in Jesus Christ, your Son. Father, enable us, we pray today, to trust in him implicitly in our lives, to walk with him day by day, to know his strength filling our weaknesses. And Lord, so in every way, to please you and honour you and lift up the name of Christ in our lives, in our words and in our actions. And we pray all of these things in his name and for his sake. Amen.
Amen. Well, our children's talk today is um, by Philip Kentz, and Phil has chosen also uh, the children's song. So see you in a moment or two.